dream of every budding cricketer to one day play for their national squad. For 21-year-old Robin Searle, the call-up for the Pro Tears women's team came after eight years of hard work. It's quite overwhelming because it's still quite new, but um, it feels absolutely great and I'm so honoured to represent my country. It's always been my dream. It's something my family has always watched and loved. And um, when I play it, I kind of forget everything else. Searle is part of the Renegades Academy that's helping to develop the women's game without government funding or any major sponsorships. The whole point of Renegades is to develop players and this opportunity to go overseas is to kind of give us a feather in our cap for when we do go forward like me, for example. Women's cricket in South Africa has really been picking up momentum over the last five or six years. And what's really great, especially about this team behind me, is that a lot of the senior players have come out of retirement to help the new up-and-coming players. We all Gauteng players, either ex-players, current players, right? But we made up from the under-13 under level right up until your senior women's level. So even if we get players coming from from eight years old or nine years old, they can learn the game. The team has already competed in several neighboring countries, including Zimbabwe, Namibia and Botswana. They will travel to the subcontinent in the summer to face India, one of the world's greatest cricketing nations. Going to India was one of my dreams. Uh, Renegade has given us an opportunity to go play outside South Africa and go learn about the um, different conditions that side. I've been to India twice already so I know the conditions, I know everything outside cricket there as well so it's for me helping the girls, getting ready for India and experience India the way I've experienced it. There's now talk of developing a tournament similar to the Indian Premier League which has taken the world by storm. Sumitra Nadu, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.